sit. Okay, great. If you could just say until your first and last name for us. I know you already did it, but take sure. the cameras. Uh, it's Mike McCabe. McCabe is spelled M-C-C-A-B-E. Okay, and you're a commander? Correct. Okay, great. I think Okay, so um, if you could just kind of walk us through what happened. Sure. So this morning around 5 a.m., uh, 911 received calls that we had uh, at least two teens that were unconscious found in a driveway. Uh, deputies responded to the area, which was near the Heritage High School. Uh, a third teen was found nearby in a yard. All three teens were transported to local hospitals. It was believed at the time that they would po were possibly overdosing uh, on some type of substance, we're not sure what. Uh, about a, two hours later, a fourth team was brought into a local hospital by a parent or guardian. Uh, at that point, we realized we had four teens uh, potentially overdosing. Not sure if there were additional teens in the area. We um, did a grid search, we did a reverse 911, we requested the assistance of the neighborhood to help us um, just to make sure that we didn't have additional teens missing or unaccounted for. Uh, our biggest concern at that point was that there would be some uh, teenager in a yard, in a backyard, on a side of a house that was unaccounted for, that was in medical distress, and we wanted to make sure that we got them, got them help as quickly as we could. Uh, we searched until about noon. Um, we also worked closely with Heritage High School to make sure that any uh, students that maybe had called in sick were accounted for. And uh, when we were comfortable that there were no further teens missing, then we, we uh, closed down the, that part of the investigation. Uh, what will occur now is our detectives will begin to work with the parents and the teenagers, try to determine what it was they took, where they got it, um, and make sure that we don't have any, any other kids out there that are at risk. And they're okay? Uh, to my knowledge, they are. I've not had any medical updates, as you can imagine, um, with teenagers um, and their, their families. We want to keep that information uh, pretty confidential. And uh, when you say teens, how old were they? Were they high school students? My understanding is that there at least three of them were high school students, so we're talking about a range of around 17, 18 years old. Okay. And did they attend Heritage? At least three, to my knowledge, did attend Heritage. Okay. Uh, there is one teen that, uh, my understanding, is not affiliated with that school, or at least not now. And do you have any any idea what what kind of substance or any anything you're kind of looking leaning towards that are suspicious it might be? The type of intoxication that we were looking at, we don't know for sure. If I had to speculate, I would say some some sort of an opioid. And in terms of, you know, we've heard a lot about the opioid epidemic. I mean, it's been a lot in the news lately. Sure. Um, you know, in Clark County, you guys see that a lot. Unfortunately, we do. Uh, this is uh, not only a national problem, it is a local problem as well. Um, it's certainly something that we want to make sure that we educate our young people on the dangers of op opioid overdose. Um, it's not a drug that you want to play with. It's very unforgiving and when you go down, if you don't get medical assistance quickly, you can be in a whole lot of trouble. Who found these these kids? Was it like a, a homeowner, a neighbor, or someone My driving by? My understanding is it was a homeowner that discovered them first, at least the first two in the driveway. And was it at, at these kids' home, or was it like a, a stranger's home? Uh, they live in the area, okay. although it wasn't their house. Okay. okay. What are the cross streets? Uh, the cross streets were 147th Avenue, Northeast 79th Street. Do you know if Narcan was used at all by the my understanding is that Narcan was used, yes, and that they were uh, attended by paramedics. Narcan used on all three that were at the, discovered out in the... That I do not know. Okay. I'm not sure which teens were administered what drug. What uh, medical group uh, responded for you to help you on this? It would be Vancouver Fire and also AMR. Can you say, are they at Peace Health or Legacy or... Both. My understanding okay. is that we have uh, several teens at Legacy, uh, Peace Health, and one in Portland. Okay. Do you know their relationship? Do they know each other? My understanding is they were friends. Mm -hmm. All four of them? Uh, yes. Beyond that, I don't know if there's any relationship beyond that. I don't know if this brings anything to mind for you to warn others about, but uh, this is a great platform to say 
what, uh, watch out uh, your medicine cabinet or who knows what, um, I don't know. I think we absolutely have to remind our young folks that um, if you're not 100% sure what you're taking, I mean, let's not get into the debate about the morality of drug use, but if you need to be 100% sure what you are taking. If you're not, you definitely do not want to ingest anything that you're not 100% sure what you're dealing with. Never take something from somebody else that you don't know. You know, I'm not at this point going to assume that it's anything illegal. We don't know what they took. Um, so I would say the general caution would be don't ingest anything that you're not 100% sure it's safe to do so. And is there any crime or at any this charges? Point, oh, I honestly don't know at this point. Uh, our biggest concern this morning was just getting them the medical help they needed. If in fact we discover crimes later, we'll certainly deal with that, but that wasn't our priority this morning. We do have a detective assigned to the case, and they will of course follow any leads and figure out what it was they took, or try to figure out what they took. Uh, forgive me if you already said this, but can you comment as to their current condition, the four of them? I honestly have not had an update on their current condition. Uh, I believe they're stable, but I'm not 100% sure. Did the people who uh, reported this, did they do the right things for, uh, in, your, in your opinion or whatever? Uh, what would you advise others if they had a random Absolutely. The, the individual that notified 911 um, gave us an opportunity to potentially save several teenagers this morning. Uh, my advice would be if you ever come across somebody that you believe is in medical distress, you absolutely should call 911 and get medical help to them as quickly as possible. We will do everything in our power to make sure that they are safe first. If, there, if there's a crime that's occurred, we'll deal with that later. But our number one priority is to make sure that they are safe and get them the medical help that they need. Was the caller related to? No, my understanding is the caller was unrelated. Same thing for, for individuals. If you have a friend or a loved one that you come across that you believe is overdosed, Please don't hesitate to call 911 and ask for assistance. Again, our priority is to get them the medical help they need. It is not to come out and, and charge them with a crime.